Hey guys, Isos here, and today we're bringing you a replay analysis video for Oriana. Today, uh, lol, I die a lot. That's the person's name, is playing Oriana, and this is an EU West game, and they are almost summer level 30, so this is going to be a team builder game, I believe. So for mid lane, we've got Oriana versus Brand. Basically, in this matchup, the Oriana player wants to try to dodge Brand pillars. Like, that's the main thing, is a uh, pillar of flame. That's going to be his main source of damage. He's probably going to max that first. Got pretty good range, and it goes through minions. So that's the main goal here. Um, regarding your skill build, I would get your Q at level 1, not the shield, because it helps for last hitting. Because if you're about to miss a minion, you can throw out your Q and still get it. Now, if you're against like a Yasuo or something, or a Zed, I could see taking shield at level 1, but not a brand because he's ranged and he doesn't really have any... You know, consistent harass at level one, especially. So you're doing pretty good. You've got um, four CS up on Bran. I like that you warded there. Uh, Sejuani's on that side. So I'd like to see. Okay, you're just trying to push the wave. Okay, good. You got a dissonance on him. Level one dissonance isn't that much damage, but it's pretty much free harass, so that's good. At this point, I'd like to see you get this into tower just because. This position here is not great, it's because you're so far up. Uh, basically, if you're past the middle of the lane, you're at risk for getting ganked. And you want to push this into the tower and kind of reset it, so that's good. <clears throat> um, definitely, uh, I would say, try to uh, use your attack move ability to farm a little bit more, because it is tough to last hit with Oriana early, even though she does have Clockwork Windup. It can still be tough to last hit for any AP character mid. So you're doing fine on CS right now compared to Brand, which is the main thing. You always want to compare your arm to your opponent. That was really good. You got a full combo on him. Um, Brand has one health pot and one mana pots, and you've got two health pots. So I would like to see you maybe, since your wave is so pushed up, like I would like to see you probably try to trade with Brand a little bit more because he has a lot less health than you and you still have two health potions and your auto attacks are super strong. So maybe I'd like to see you walk up and, you know, QW and try to get some auto attacks in. And even if you take damage, it doesn't really matter because he only has one health potion and you have such a big advantage. So that's that's the way you can basically use your health pool as a resource, like if you're at full health, and try to force a trade just to make them lower health. And see, now this is the good reason that your wave is pushed back, because um, Sejuani is looking to gank you. So this is the reason why I said earlier, like, you want to make sure the wave is on your side of the map if you're not, like, going aggressive, because you're going to get ganked. So your ward covered you for that time period, and now uh, the fact that you let Brand push covered you here. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. Nuna's probably going to gank top, so you're going to be left to your own devices here. I like that you haven't been hit with that many pillars. Um, I, I like that you're using your QW on Brand. Um, since your W is only rank 1, it costs a lot of mana. It costs like 70, yeah, 70 mana, and it, you're only getting 102 damage out of it. Whereas Command Attack is much more mana efficient. So you don't even have to use Dissonance. Okay, there you go. You got Nunu coming up. Okay, this should be pretty good. Ah, yeah, so um, I think you could have moved up a little bit faster there, just when you saw Nunu coming in and made Bran burn a flash for sure. But back to the trading, basically, like, you don't even have to use Dissonance, you just want to use Command Attack and then your Auto Attacks to uh, force some trades. And you also have your Shield, so you want to try to use Dissonance sparingly until it's at least rank 2, because it's not very um, mana efficient, like I said. So Brand's pushing, but you have enough money to go back right now, and you probably should, yeah. So you're going to go back. I'm going to speed this up. you got a Chalice. That's a good choice. Gives you magic resist against Brand and gives you the mono regen you want. Merlinopicon is also super popular, but I think since you're playing against the magic damage lane, the Chalice is a good choice. And you're against the magic damage jungler, too, so it's even doubly effective, I believe. Nice. That was good. You did a combo on Brand, and you got the shield on yourself. So, 
Brand has no potions, so I and he also has blue buff, so I'd be playing really aggressively here. Like basically, what you can do is just wait until Brand goes up to pillar and QW him. Basically, I'd like to see you use your shield right here too. When you're just tanking the minions like that, and you have a ton of mana and a chalice, just use your shield to prevent minions from dealing damage to you. It's pretty efficient. Just helps you keep your health topped off. And you have chalice, so it doesn't matter if you spend mana. Um, but yeah, right like right now, this is a really good opportunity to well, <clears throat> good opportunity for your lane, but Sejuani's here. So it's actually really good that you're not going aggressive right now. Um but it's pretty tempting too because Brand has less health than you. You still have lots of potions. And you're still getting some poke on him, that's pretty good. But he's trying to bait you right now. Um your positioning is great. They have the entire river warded, and she's just sitting here. Um, so you've gotten hit by a few pillars. You actually have not got hit by that many pillars, but that's basically like... Okay. Oh, Okay, that's okay. Um, you tried to go for the shockwave, but, you know, Brand was too far away. But you got Brand's flash, so that's really good. Um, yeah, you're fine. Brand alt doesn't do anything if you're by yourself like that. Yeah, going back here is fine, I think. So you're both out of your alts. Brand has Ignite. Okay, you're helping Nunu here. Okay, go back to line. Um, so Brand has Ignite and you have Exhaust. So if you exhaust Brand when his alt comes out, or Pillar, like that's pretty effective. And then you can basically just sit there and auto-attack him a lot with Clockwork Windup. You'll probably win trades. Now that you've got two ranks in Dissonance, you can use that a little bit more uh, frequently, I would say. And since Brand has no flash, I would be looking for opportunities to walk up and use your QW combo. Like right there would have been a good time, because the ball was already down. Could have hit him with it. Uh, going to do dragon? Excellent. So we get a free dragon here. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry, that was their team. You stopped them from doing dragon. Good. Now you're coming back in, so... That was a double shockwave. And your Nunu got dragon. That was really good. So, good shockwave right there. Nunu got dragon and he flashed out. So yeah, I mean, you should just back now. Uh, even though Nunu died, that doesn't matter. Great ult. And you ran away, you didn't let Caitlyn pick you off, and Nunu got the dragon, so that was superb for your team. Yeah, anytime you can shockwave more than one person, it's totally worth. Just because it's hard CC on two people and a lot of AoE damage. So you you know her said you know Sedge is there. You're poking her. I um, you're trying to meet up with your team, but it's kind of awkward. It looks like the your Caitlyn is alive still, so you're winning this fight pretty handily. You're trying to follow up on your team. This minion is chasing you. Another double shockwave. That was really good. Uh, Nunu died, but okay. Ooh, the Brandalt. Yeah, I would say um, just when Brandalt comes out, try to cut down a little bit there. Like run away from your team. Because even if you can save one bounce from going off, that's like very good. So, yeah, you're gonna go back mid, I would shove this out, maybe go back. I guess you could stay, you have, you have potions. You could stay and farm. Fine. Um, <clears throat> okay, yeah, was, you dinged Brand up there pretty well. Yeah, I mean, if you can hit him one more time with a QW, you can probably kill him. But now the way is pushed up, so it's a lot harder. Ooh, nice. That was a really good QW right there. Okay, so, okay now you see Sejuani, so you're going to play back, which is smart. You're giving vision with your ball. Okay, so there's a fight going on bot. Sejuani's coming from behind you. Ah, oh, that was pretty slick. Ah, oh, okay. Um, I don't think he needed to exhaust there because Brand flashed. So like Sejuani had a great gank, but then you had a great uh, go on Brand, and you forced Brand to flash out. And then at that point, Brand was so far away and so low that I th you had the uh, you had dissonance down. So Sejuani was slowed, and you were sped up. I think you could have just walked away. So I understand you're wanting to use exhaust there, but you also had full health, so like I don't see you dying there. Like even if Sejuani ulted you, I don't think Brand could have killed you, to be honest. 
would have been really close. But it's okay. It's not a big deal. They still ganked you and used a lot of their time. And you got Brand's Flash, so... Basically, you got a Flash for an Exhaust and the Jungler's Time. And the Jungler used the Red Trinket, so... That's really good. Okay, so they want mid-tower now, but nice job. Should be able to defend this. Okay, yeah, good job last hitting with your Q and your auto attack at the same time. Got another dragon. So Sejuani is going on Cho and you're helping him out. <laughs> okay, you got just Brand there, but that's okay. You should be fine here, I think. Yeah. And then you just want to try to shield Cho. Your team is like doing blue. So this is kind of a, unfortunate because they have four mid and they're just going to take this tower. <laughs> and you had two people. I don't know why they had two people doing blue buff. Really confusing to me. Um, and Caitlyn was bot, but there's nothing you could do about that really. Um, the only thing I would have said is just like maybe back up and don't try to fight 2v4, but you're under your tower. So like, you know, it's not like it was bad or anything. You're just trying to defend the tower, which is what I would have done. So I would have uh, thrown out your Cho'Gath at your ball, but I would have thrown out the uh, attack dissonance like a lot earlier. You probably could have hit two or three people with it, I think. So that was just a little bit of an opportunity for that. Now you have Shockwave. I think you should push up here. You have Shockwave and you have full health with your team, and Cho'Gath has a ton of health. He's missing a lot of health, but he has still a bunch of health, so... We're just kind of hanging out mid. Your Nunu is clearing wards, I think. So he's going to group up with you. I would try to use your shield a little bit more. Um, like on your Cho'Gath and your, or your uh, Caitlyn, because they keep taking poke. Uh, also, another thing is I wouldn't, I wouldn't be maxing your shield second. I'd be maxing Dissonance, because that's your AoE nuke. That's your... You know, slow, your speed buff for your team. Um, I think it's better just to leave shield at one point for most of the game. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. You got a ward down. I'm back with your team. So now we can probably get a 5v5, I think. Does everyone on your team is here? Basically, in team fights, you want to try to obviously land Shockwave on as many people as possible. You're probably going to end up hitting like Rom, Nar, and Sejuani, which is perfectly fine. Try to shield Caitlyn as much as possible. Maybe Cho'Gath if Caitlyn is not, you know, under any duress. And uh, in terms of exhaust, you probably want to exhaust Nar, I think. I oh, know he only has Triforce. Um, I think I would still exhaust Nar. He still has a lot of CS actually, so probably exhaust Nar if if you can or need to. Okay, that was a really good Shockwave. You got a Shockwave on four people, I think, and you're just staying in the back. Uh, you shielded Nunu, but he died, so that's really good. Um, and you're just staying near Kaylin basically, which is great. And you shield Cho'Gath, who's taking damage. Nice. That was a really, really good ult. So, you guys have a pretty good team fight. Cho'Gath, Nunu, and Orianna. So that's pretty good. They do too. With Braum and Sejuani, though. But... And Nar. <clears throat> um, Dragon is up soon, I think. Yeah, Dragon's up now. So, I would go with your team. I'm not sure why you're up here. You could definitely go in and... So um, when you were up here, you could have thrown your ball over here and hit all hit three people, I think. Um, also, I'm not sure why you stood over here for so long. I would have tried to group with your team. But since you were here, you could have gone in and QW'd and hit them. Because they had no vision of you in that brush. You might not have known that, but... Definitely could have done uh, more damage there. I think you were playing a little bit too far off in that situation. Well, they were all distracted by your team, too. So that's another thing you have to consider. Uh, you're going into Hourglass next, that's fine. I don't know if this is the best game to do that. Uh, okay, you're trying to shield them. Oh, you still have your shield. Uh, yeah, I, I would try to use your shield there a little bit earlier. Because the earlier you use it, the earlier you get it on cooldown, and then it'll come back up faster. Um, in terms of your build, though, uh, 
Arm guard, I mean, the only 80 damage I have on their team is Kaelin and Gnar. So, like, I probably would have gone for Rabadons in this case, because there's just... I mean, they have no, like, AD assassin that's going to get on you, really. Hourglass is a great item. I just don't think you need it second, right, in this case, against this team. I would say. Speed this up a little bit. You're just trying to group with your team, shielding Nunu, and now you're defending the inner tower. So you want to be trying to clear minions a little bit. So you're just using your shield and speeding up Nunu, but you want to try to clear minions. Okay, so now the fight starts. You got Shockwave on Gnar and Sedge. That's very good. And with this Gnar. Yeah, that's, that's rough. Um, you got a pretty good ult. Uh... I would say that um, the only thing you really could have done differently would probably be like Hourglass, the uh, Sejuani ult, and then as soon as you come out then you could auto attack. You would have taken a little less damage, but you would have been out of the fight for the same time, so it's not that big of a deal really. Um, your team just kind of went a little bit too ham, and your Caitlyn was too far up, but you were trying to shield her, so. Red team's turret has been destroyed. I think uh, that you're putting points in shield for this game specifically, where your Caitlyn is so far up all the time is is okay. You're gonna do a lot less damage, but maybe Caitlyn will stay alive longer. So, okay, so you're trying to help. You got a double shockwave, really nice. Um, okay, good. See, I like that you're finally using some auto attacks. I don't see you use auto attacks that much in team fights, and I think you're missing out on a lot of damage because Ori's passive is a lot of damage, but you have to use your auto attacks, obviously. So you're someone on your team is pinging Dragon, but you're gonna do Baron instead, which is fine. Okay, they're doing Dragon. You got Baron. That's actually good. Getting Baron is better than getting Dragon most of the time. Um, so you're working on Void Staff? Yeah. So um, I wouldn't get Void Staff right now. Basically, if you look at their team, like they've got some magic resist, but not that much. So I would go for Rabadons, because your damage is a little bit light, given that you have an Hourglass. So I would go for Rabadons right now, and then Void Staff fourth for your current build. So getting Void Staff is great, but you also want base damage. And also um, more AP makes your shield bigger. So that's a consideration for Orianna, is a spell pen is uh, very, very slightly inefficient on her. Um, it still will make your shield do damage, because it has a damage ratio, but you, you want that AP first to scale with all your abilities and your shield size. So we're just sieging mid now. Um, unfortunately, you don't have Baron anymore. But that's okay. You're just trying to shield. They have really good poke, actually, with Brand, Caitlyn, and Gnar to a degree. So, um, yeah, your team fight is actually pretty low on damage because you have a Zillion and a Nunu. And... Um, the fact that you're building a little bit defensively right now. You don't have as much AP as you could. But you still have like potential for team fights and stuff. It just depends on how things go. They're fighting Nunu and you're just shielding him. Okay, so you only shockwave Braum, but you're trying to help Nunu, so I understand. Nunu's build is kinda not that great, and he's been taking a lot of damage. So let's say right here you're trying to shield Cho'Gath, I think, and... Okay, so you're focusing a little too much on the champions. Um, you just want to use your abilities to clear the minion wave, because the faster the minion wave dies, the faster the turret can attack them if they're standing in range. And also, killing the minions means your tower takes less damage and means it'll stay up longer. That's really important. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Braum is disconnected. You're just shoving out bot. Uh, you guys are trying to get vision. So you want to rotate back to your tower right now. Okay, you got a triple shockwave. That was really good. You avoided that. The uh, sedge ult. But you're also not auto-attacking here, right? So you're missing out on a lot of damage. You could have got like six plus auto-attacks in there. Um, you also could be auto-attacking Braum there. Instead of just running away, you can auto-attack and move, and auto-attack and move, and be doing a lot of damage to him. Like, let's look at Clockwork Wind-Up. No, it doesn't actually say here. 
Um, but I know it does quite a bit of damage on top of your basic auto attacks. Shut down. If it was any other mage, I would say it doesn't matter, but since you're Orianna, you want to be... You almost have to play kind of like an ADC. Like That's actually why I like playing Orianna, because she rewards you for attack moving, just like if you were playing an ADC. So that's a big part of her kit, and it's a lot of damage. That's one thing you'll want to practice. There you go, you auto-attacked a lot there. Now we're chasing. Um, so you guys are chasing Bran. This isn't your fault, but like your team shouldn't be chasing Bran. Your team should be... Uh, so your team should be pushing. Okay, so you got that. Right there, though, you were running away from just Sejuani when it was like 1, you were like 4v1. You want to move up and start auto-attacking her. It's like a definitely important. You're gonna get another free Baron. Hopefully, you guys will push with this. When you get Baron, you want to try to push. You don't want to team fight. So you want to, you know, try to push and use the passive that makes your minion stronger as uh, often as you possibly can. I like that you're at least mid. Um, you could have used your shield there. Uh, that would have mitigated a chunk of that damage, so next time try to look for that. If Kaylin ults you, just shield yourself and try to save yourself some damage. But her ultimate is on cooldown now, so that's good. Um, I'd like to see you up kind of near the front a little bit more, trying to land QWs, at least on the minions. And looking for harass opportunities. Okay, so they got dragon. Now let's look at your positioning here. You're staying near Kaylin, I like this. Okay, you only got a sh one man shockwave. Um, you want to wait until the hourglass is done before you do that? Uh, yeah, the uh, brand alt hurts a lot. You also had your shield, I'm pretty sure. So, it was still a good shockwave because, like, you zone, you got an R and you basically forced brand to zone you. But, um, unfortunately, since you guys fought instead of just pushing, uh, you kind of didn't maximize the use of the Baron buff. So that's something. Oh, sorry. I was going too fast there. Okay. <laughs> so, again, you're not auto-attacking here at all. So that's a lot of damage lost. <clears throat> so that was a really good hourglass. And you flashed. You got only one person shockwave that time. But yeah, since you had Hourglass and Zillion ulted you, I would have liked to see you. I would have liked to see you auto attack more. So that's just a, definitely a something that you want to try to think about. Your build is really good. I would have just switched the. I would basically switch the Void Staff to last and the the Hat to first. So Hat, Hourglass, Void Staff, probably in that order for this game. Okay, so I'm gonna speed this up. I'm gonna hang out mid, farming. Okay, another Baron. Let's do this. I think you should be able to do this pretty well with Clockwork wind up and Blood Boil. Yeah. Or he's really good at killing Baron too. Especially with Blood Boil. So, going for a Dragon, I think. Like, this is the third time where you guys have Baron and you're not using. The best part of Baron now, since they reworked it, is that it makes the minions stronger. So, like,. I like that you guys are getting dragon, but you should just, you guys are fighting too, like, you want to just get dragon, so you're not auto attacking here, um, <clears throat> you should be okay here if you hourglass, yeah, and your Caitlyn should have this, nice, okay, so that was really good, but like now, I just want to see you guys go use the Baron to push, so you should be recalling right now, yeah, you should have recalled a few seconds earlier and just immediately go bot or top. Like, or mid, the mid inhibitor is down. Oh, the minions killed it. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh no, your Caitlyn got it. Oh, they're pushing? They're winning? Oh, they won. I wasn't paying attention. Sorry. But, uh, so that's good. They were using Baron buff there, though. I was, uh, locked camera to you, so I wasn't paying attention to your team. So that was great. They finally used the Baron buff to push. That was excellent. So, uh, let me go over your questions real quick. Uh, you said, are you playing too passively? Uh, I would say yes, and I believe I went over why. You just want to be using your auto attacks. I saw you just 
missed a lot of opportunities to use your auto attacks, and that's a lot of damage. Uh, even though Oriana has short auto attack range at 525, you still have your shield, and you have hourglass, and you have other, you know, you have um, dissonance to speed yourself up and slow them down. You have shockwave. You have a lot of tools at your disposal. So you want to practice standing at max range and dealing a lot of damage with clockwork windup. Um, you asked about laning as Oriana, uh, ball placement and harass, farming overall. Farming is a little bit is tough for any mid player, but um, you have a slight advantage with Oriana damage from Clockwork Windup. I would say, like I said in lane, get your Q at level 1, so you can use that to farm to supplement your auto attacks. And then um, laning as Oriana, I thought you laned pretty well. You laned a little bit too conservatively, I think. You avoided the ganks, but at the same time, there were a lot of times our brand was really vulnerable, where he had no health, and you had full health, or like he had no flash a couple times, and you could have definitely gone aggressive on him, or at least zoned him out from farming and made him miss some farm, or possibly killed him if he was greedy. Uh, your ball placement was like pretty good in the mid game, uh, in team in laning, it was pretty good. It was very good in uh, the mid game and like team fights and stuff. I think you were just trying. You were mostly using it to spam shield, which is fine, but as soon as you spam shield, you can then use it to clear minions. So that's something I talked about throughout the video, but um, that's something you want to be thinking too, is using your abilities to clear minions, because you're the mid player, you're, you're the person that's supposed to be clearing waves, or helping clear waves faster, at least I should say. That would be it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you hit the subscribe button above my head that's going to pop up, you'll get an email every time a new video comes out. Stay frosty.